What's up, YouTube? It's NG, and today I'm trying something new. Welcome to what I'm into, the week in review. Uh, I don't always get to do my little rants and, and such, but I'm always online, checking out what's coming, what's happening. And you know, I take pictures, I write stuff down, and you no, know, I feel I might as well share it with all of you. So, without further ado, what I'm into, the weekend review. Monday. Um, Monday was Fed, Fed, Veterans Day. Uh, wasn't really much going on in the tech world that I saw that was of interest to me. Um, spent the day home with the kids, with the wife. That was pretty much it. Um, Tuesday, something started to happen. Well, on Monday, there was the, uh, Pixel 4 got some updates. I don't have one. Uh, from what I read, it was camera updates. Um, I think some battery updates. I know there was an issue with the battery for the Pixel 4. But Monday... That's pretty much all that caught my eye as I went through my, my stuff. Tuesday, Disney Plus launched. Now, I'm sure you all know about Disney Plus. Um, <coughs> I didn't plan on getting it the very first day. No. But when it was there, you just couldn't help yourself. I got it. Uh, I saw the bundle there for the um, Disney, Hulu, and ESPN in one uh, in one packet for one lower than you would pay for all three price. So I sure enough signed up for it. Um, it's a pretty good selection uh, if you are a child of the '80s. You no, know, start your teens in the '90s and '90s and what what have you. Everything they have there pretty much pertains to you. All the good stuff. Uh, Disney af Afternoon. They have a lot of those c cartoons. That's was really interesting to me. Uh, they have Darkwing Duck. Uh, Tailspin. Uh, the L Little Mermaid. A, a lot of these little car cartoons I remember from when I was younger. All there. Then they have, of course, the n new shows that they're talking about a lot. The Man Mandalorian, that was great. Uh, the wife and I, we we tried out the um, high school musical, the musical, the series. Surprisingly, good show, good songs, good acting. Uh, I think they're on to to something. All the Marvel movies, if you're a big fan, all there. So, Tuesday, that was the big thing. Um, Disney Plus is four and what six ninety nine a month, but um, if you bundle it with the Hulu and the ESPN, uh, it's thirteen ninety nine. I think that's a a great package. You get all the Dis Disney stuff. Hulu has all the shows you might have missed during the week. A lot of good anime and their original. Properties. They're also owned by Walt Disney. At least they have Walt, Walt Disney has a uh, owning purse percentage of Hulu, and then Walt Disney owns ESPN. So if you if you're big in uh, the sports, I'm not really, but I'll 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 watch the playoffs and the uh, Super Bowl. I would watch the ending of these things. I, I don't have time to watch them every weekday or weekend wherever they they come on, but the big end the game, I always try to catch that, have something to talk about with my friends, make a, a little fun bet, or what have you, but yeah, Tuesday was, uh, the main thing was Disney Plus, Dis Disney Plus took the world by storm, and everyone that I know signed up for it, <coughs> I actually watched Who Framed Roger Rabbit, in Full 4K HD looks wonderful. I saw it in theaters when it first came out, 1980 something. 
but so much better on my current TV now. Uh, Google, they also um, said that, well, not Google, the CCMI, the U.S. carriers, they came together to form that little group. They, they said in January they'll, they'll have uh, the first steps to have an RCS, you know, uh, the iMessage competitor for Android, on all Android devices. They're going to make an app. And with that app, they're going to see if they can uh, have all the carriers and all the mess messaging app, or maybe it'll be its own app, I'm not sure. Rival WhatsApp and iMessages, you know, be able to send large, large, larger files, longer text. Uh, they said that you'll be able to in interact with your favorite celebrities and biz, 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 um, pretty much to try to find a way to make money off of your mess messaging. So. Again, I look forward to seeing what they're going to do with that. It sounds interesting enough. But I guess we'll have we'll have to see. On Wednesday, the the big thing was Apple silently dropped the MacBook Pro. Now I don't have all of the specs on it. Uh, let me look that up real. Uh, I know I watched a, a few videos on it, but no one expected the new MacBook Pro to 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 come out, and just like that, it did. Um, I heard that there wasn't really much uh, change. They changed the key. I have some notes on this. I, I don't know where I I uh, put them. Uh, they actually changed the keyboard. They said it's not as uh, uh, what's it? It's more cookie. They said I heard there's always been an issue with the MacBook keyboards for a while. I don't have a Mac. I, I have a a PC, and of course, my phone. Notes here. No, notes on the notes. Get more in depth on the computer. You're good for your bill. Yeah. Um. From what I read, the keyboard is is better the screen is better it's not actually lighter it's actually somewhat heav heav heavier than the a uh, one that is the it's re placing the 15 inch um it'll still be bigger from what i understand but uh they're trying to move ev everyone up up to the 16 inch macbook See if I can get anything on that. Like I really do. It's all that was there on Wednesday. Everyone was here was talking about MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro. I think it, it starts at like two thousand or something along those lines for the base model. Uh, and it can go all the way up to like six thousand if you spec it out. Don't quote me. On that, I'm I'm just gonna pull pull this pull, pull this up when I remember reading uh, about it. So that was Wednesday. Mac MacBook Pro. Um, what is that? Oh, Razer. <coughs> the full leak came out of all the Im images of the Razer phone. The new one from Motorola. Uh, it went through the F. CC and they were able to pull them straight from there. Looks really nice. Um, you know how I'm with my fold foldable phones. I look forward to seeing what they 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 do with it. Um, they didn't have any specs or anything along those lines, but they did have the phone itself good to go. You can see every angle of it, <coughs> and yeah, they. Modro is doing some really good work there. It looked really interesting. And uh, that evening, if I remember cor correctly, they were uh, supposed to have a, uh, uh, what was it? One of those uh, where they bring in all of the YouTubers and tech media to have the reveal of the actual device. So getting uh, the pictures early was a great thing for me because I can't go to LA to this thing 
because God knows when they were going to actually uh, allow them to talk to you uh, about it. But that was a web day. MacBook Pro Razor Leaks. Oh, then Thursday came. Um, ran early Thursday morning. All of the YouTubers had their hands on the Razer 2019. That was serious. It's a really good device. Uh, 1500 going to launch on Verizon in uh, next year, January. Pre-orders go up December 26th. I think the phone is going to launch January 19th. I'm going to try to get my hands on one. I want to do a comp comparison to my phone. Um, someone on scene, scene it did actually do a comparison because they have the phone in hand. I know. She said what she had. She had to say. Oh, of course, they always seem to talk down the gal the gal Galaxy phone. Uh, they had they had said that uh. They actually preferred the form factor of the razor to the the phone. I won't get get into all that right now. I do have my opinion on what a lot of these guys were saying but they all seem, seem to uh compare it to the phone which makes sense it's the only other folding phone compared out at least at the time when they uh had the re reveal but razor phone uh, it folds down uh, like the supposed fold 2 is going to it has a nano coating on the screen which supposedly makes it um Water resistant, not waterproof, but it's a photo phone that's water resistant. I can't even complain. I wish the phone did have that too. Um, I think it's a 6.3 inch screen. Let me pull that up, get these exact specs. Razor foldable phone. I think it's a 6.3 inch screen. It has a 16 megapixel camera. That's both front facing and rear facing because it's on the on the part that that folds, so the one camera does double duty as your main sensor and your regular one. There is a, a camera on the inside on a little notch. You know, they always gotta have a notch. But they say it's mainly for um video chat. It's not really powerful enough to take any, any type of of. Uh, Instagram worthy pics. That's not what it's it's for. Uh, the specs of of the of the device aren't anything to write home for. But according to Mo Motorola, it's a design first phone. It was just built to look really pretty. They said uh, they went with a I think it's a Snapdragon seven sixty something along those lines, and um, they said that was to keep power down. And heat down because it, it it's so slim that there's nowhere for the heat to dis dissipate without warming up the entire device. I mean, if it works for them, they say you still get a whole day's use out of it with the uh, less powerful chipset, and I would think so. Um, it's a very small device from what the the picture. On, on on like the fold here, which is both a phone and a uh, tablet. The razor, it, it really is just a mid-range phone that can fold at a premium price. Some people might uh, scoff at that. Me, no, I don't. I actually think it's a a pretty good i idea. It's five hundred bucks less than the fold, and a thousand dollars less than the Mate X. And the form factor is one that would presumably be more accommodating to most people. It's not trying to fill a void in your life where, oh, I need a phone that turns to a tablet. It's not trying to be numb, but it's just trying to be a very sexy phone. And on that end, it does a great job. 
So, you know, I think they might have a nice little segment in the foldable phone wars that are up upon us. They took a really different approach. And I think truthfully it might work in their favor. Oh, but the box was cool. It in the box counts as a, or it doubles as a uh, booster for the uh, sound to put the phone inside and the box is made in in such a way it's like an echo chamber and it boosts the sound of uh, the phone so they actually want you to keep the box I mean I keep all of my boxes re regardless my wife hates that fact almost every box I get of, of every device I still have kind of like a trophy I got this so even when the device itself is gone and broken I still have the box there but yeah with that device, the box, it actually doubles as a sound, like a boom tube for the L LG phones do something very similar with boom sounds. And you put it on something, it boosts the sound with that phone. The box that it comes in can al also boost the sound. <coughs> so yeah, the Razer phone coming uh, next year. I will be pre-ordering mine. December 26th. Uh, my brother has Verizon, so I'm just going to keep going aligned with him to try it out. Um, and I will definitely be doing a comparison to the Fold because the Fold is still my main guy, and I have yet to see something better than this. <coughs> Thursday was also Inside Xbox. Um, I don't know how many of you play games. Or are into Microsoft and such, but they had their annual Inside Xbox conference where they showed uh, whoever was interested, all the new games coming out, uh, some of the new studios that they had acquired, and services they were about to, to push out to the public. Um, the Game Pass, that's their subscription service where for a monthly uh, price, you get access to over 100 games, and it rotates very much like uh, Netflix. They were adding a lot of games to that, some newer titles, some older titles, all titles that are, well, most of that are well-known that will help grow the the uh, platform. Um, they showed you some new first-party games, uh, Bleeding Edge, that one looked pretty good. Um, <coughs> Oh, they announced the oh, 10 different Final Fantasy games were coming to Game Pass, which is a big thing because uh, Xbox doesn't have that many Japanese role-playing games. So just knowing that those are coming just lets you know that, that they are working on s securing more rights to these Japanese RPGs. And right now, PlayStation is where you get most of them. And that's why they, it is still so dominant. A lot of these j Japanese the Developers put their stuff on the play on the PlayStation platform. A because it's a Japanese game game system. Like it says that hatred patriotism there. And B, Xbox doesn't sell well in Japan at all. So they put their games on what moves and what can move their games. It it only makes sense. But it's good to see that uh the Xbox will be getting. Some more Japanese role-playing games. Uh, I won't have time to play them, but you know, I'll I, I'll still show my support. I'll download one or two, play play for a little before move moving on. Um, <coughs> the big thing was they uh they allowed more people onto the Xbox uh, game stream preview. I was one of them. Um, I tried it, and sure enough. I was able to stream my Xbox to my phone. I bought a little clamp for the controller, so now the, the controller can clamp to the phone. And um, it worked great. In the house, it worked great. And uh, to test it out further, I happened to take my daughters to grand grandma's house. Now, she's not overly far away. It's a good 10, 10 plus miles from me by car, maybe what, 30 minutes. But, um, Went to her house on her Wi-Fi, 
and it's still connected to the Xbox at my house, and I was able to play all the games that I had on my Xbox. Um, and that's really saying saying something because the lag was almost non-existent. You know, um, and that's always a big thing: the lag and the latency when you press the button for the Xbox to read it from ten miles away and then activate the uh, command. Seeing that work was amazing. I was playing a, a fighting game, um, Tekken 7, and it was almost like I was at home. Every now and then you saw a skip or a jump. That's the Wi-Fi. My Xbox uh, isn't hardwired to the e to the in internet, no ethernet cable. So it was running off my house's Wi-Fi and then setting the signal to my how, however they do it but it worked um one of the big things was i tried anthem and and that game is notorious for having terrible network conditions always getting kicked off and so on it's one of my favorite games but uh i mean when it works it works well but i can't deny it does have its share of problems but even that was able to run so i activated Anthem, I called up my uh, brother that plays with me, and we were able to get an online game going. Him at his house, me at my mother's house, playing on my phone as it streams from my Xbox, and it worked. So, I can honestly say, Xbox Game Preview, or Game Streaming Preview, however they call it, is a success. It's Even in its preview state, it's working just fine. Um, I can only imagine how good it will be once they get all of the kinks out and they launch it officially. But um, good going, Microsoft. Good going, indeed. Friday came, and uh, just like that, Mate X went on sale in China. $2,400. Sold out in seconds. So that just goes to show the domination of these foldable phones is coming. People want these new form factors. People used to scoff at $1,000 phones. The foldable phones have, except for the Razer, destroyed the $1,000 phone as far as price. People went out and bought this Mate X for twenty, well, the taxes and so on, twenty six hundred dollars. Is it a good phone, bad phone? I don't know. I assume it's uh, comparable to the Mate Thirty Pro, uh, similar chipset. Or on, 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 on the thing is, it can fold. There's no Google services on it. And I'm pretty sure you can uh, side load it. I'm sure there's a way to side load. There has to be, but uh, China isn't uh, that dependent on Google services. They have all their other personal third-party uh, apps and such that they are willing to use just fine. But not having Google services on a on their phones doesn't seem to bother them. Huawei is actually doing better now with the ban from the U.S. than they were before the ban. I guess in China, uh, that patriotism maybe came together and they're buying more Chinese-made devices uh, that don't require the U.S. stamp of uh, approval. But yes, so I actually look for some video or some news on the Mate X so I can get some hand, hands-on. None of them were in English, uh, all in Portuguese and uh, such. Um, and YouTube wouldn't translate it. I thought that YouTube would, would at least have the subtitles in, in English, but no, they weren't there. But I, I watched them and, and anyway, got a pretty good feel for, for, for the device, uh, with how they held it, how they use it, what they uh, showed. Um, it's pretty big. Um, I don't particularly trust the, how it folds out. <coughs> um, It doesn't seem like it's very durable. Well, no, that's probably not not even the word. It just doesn't seem safe to have both screens always exposed. 
Uh, every video I saw, they did have a pouch. It comes with a pouch in, in the box, which I think is a very smart move. But you literally cannot put that phone down without fear of something getting on your screen. Because the screen covers the front and the back. And heaven, heaven forbid that it might fall. I'm pretty sure any fall would damage that phone. If people were wary of the gal 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 galaxy fold, at least the fold can fold closed and you're pretty much protected. This is real glass, gor gorilla glass. Can it break? Yes. Not that easy though. And the back, well, you have your case, metal, you're good. That one, the fragile internals of the full screen wrap around the entire phone. I don't know if you'd want to actually have this going around the whole thing, then it falls. I don't know what that would, uh, that would be scary. Because I don't actually think it would survive that. But yeah, the phone looks good though. If I could, I would have one now, but it's sold out everywhere in Japan. They said in a few seconds. I think said the next batch will be in two weeks. Uh, I would definitely won't have twenty six hundred dollars to spend on that. Just then to Im Im import it. Yes. And then to 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 import it. That is something else. Uh, the price would be, I, I, I don't even know. Yeah, so um, Huawei Mate X, I want one, if just for comparison sake, uh, I might try and go down to Chinatown, because I am in New York, maybe they'll have one, I doubt it, but you know, there are a lot of little uh, phone stores or tech, tech stores out there. Well, they have a, a lot of a lot of, of these these uh devices. Uh, but that was pretty much it. On Saturday, can't say anything really caught my eye because that was the day I actually did the testing with the game stream and uh, so on. But yeah, that was the week. And this was this has been the first ep ep episode of what I'm into the week in review, but um, I do think this is a way I like to de deliver the news of what I'm into on a weekly basis. I do enjoy m my rants, but the times I don't get a chance to actually <laughs> go into a, a rant, recent can get very busy, but um. I'll always be here. I'll always be trying to do something, get my ideas out and my opinions out. And um, I'm very happy that you guys are here to uh, share in that. So for now, I'm NG and what I'm into, the weekend review. That's it for this one. See, see you next time.